Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back. In this tutorial, we will talk about operators and operations in Scratch. Also, we will show you how these different features can help you in your projects. So, without wasting our precious time, let's get started. Operator You all probably heard and know that addition is the process of adding two numbers together, and subtracting two numbers from each other is called subtraction. Both these processes, addition and subtraction, are called operations. And the operators are the symbols you use in these operations, like the plus and minus. These operations need at least two numbers to play with. After all, trying to add or subtract just one number doesn't make any sense at all. There are some operator blocks, such as round underscore, that need only one number. In Scratch, you can do your work with words, instead of just the numbers, with the operator blocks. On the basis of the operation they do, operator blocks can be grouped together to understand them properly. It is important to know these groupings so you recognize the proper situation to use them in. Math operators Math operators are the primary set of operators blocks. When you are playing with numbers and want to do some math in your project, math operators have your back. Starting from the simpler ones, there are the blocks for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These operator blocks are also called reporter blocks. You may have a report card from school, they calculate things and tell you the result or number. If you click on one of these math operators blocks, when they are by themselves, they don't have any other block to report the number to and so, they'll just show it in a little bubble. Sometimes you will want to see the result, but do not want to click on it each time for that you can put the operator inside a say underscore block to make your sprite say the result. The blocks are often combined together or stacked to make longer operations so you are not stuck with just one operator block. For instance, if you want to calculate the result of 2 times 2 times 1, you can put an operator's block inside of another operator's block like this. There are certain rules for carrying out the math operations. Like, same numbers but different orders can give you different answers. There are few other blocks along with the four simple math operators blocks. The round underscore operators block rounds whatever number you put into the nearest whole number, getting rid of any decimal part of the given number. Any given value that has a decimal value between 0 0.0 and 0.49 will be rounded down and left off so you don't see the decimal point. For instance, 8.25 would be rounded down to 8 and 8.55 would be rounded to 9. If you have played games on mobile or computer, you might have noticed that some characters in some games have a lot of randomness to them. Every time they find a random path to attack, but they don't go right to you. If you want to do the same work, you can use the pick random underscore to underscore block. You can put things into different places and later, make them appear at random times, and far more. This block is one of the helpful and useful blocks in Scratch to help you make projects more challenging and fun. Like, sometimes you will be needing a random number to include decimals. If you want to play with decimal numbers, all you have to do is put a decimal point in your number in the pick random underscore to underscore block. Advanced Math Blocks Now that you simply know some of the simpler math blocks, let's study some of the harder ones don't worry if you are not able to get all of this at first chance. If you want to know the remainder of the two numbers, after carrying out the division operation, you might want to use the underscore mod underscore block. For instance, if we used a block that said 5 mod 2, what do you think it would tell us? Well, 2 goes into 5 2 times, and then there's still 1 left over. That means the answer in this case is 1. If you need to put things into groups, the underscore mod underscore block can be very helpful. As another example, if you had 26 things and you needed to put them in groups of 5, you would have 1 left over. So 26 mod 5 is 1. One of the powerful blocks in Scratch is the underscore of underscore operators block that can help you solve advanced math functions. Conditional operators Another type of operator is conditional operators. The blocks that appear in the green hexagonal shape are the conditional operators, also known as Boolean operators. These conditional operator blocks always respond to one of only two things. The response these blocks give is either something is true or something is false. There are two different kinds of conditional operators, one that works only with other conditional operators and one that works with words and numbers. Comparison Conditional Operators 
the three conditional operators that work with numbers and words are referred to as comparison conditional operators. The first block asks if the primary number is a smaller amount than the second number. The second block checks to examine if the two numbers are equal. And therefore, the third block checks if the primary number is bigger than the second number. For instance, if you ask if 10 is a smaller amount than 8 and click on the block, it'll tell you false. This is often also useful for checking if things are close to the lowest part or bottom of the screen. Why would you like to check if your sprite is close to the lowest part or bottom of the screen? Well, maybe you want to build a game where your sprite falls down and the stage ends. While it might appear to be these blocks are good just for numbers, luckily you can also compare words. This will be useful once you want to understand if a variable is the right value. When you're putting words into these blocks, you don't need to worry about capitalizing letters. Scratch ignores uppercase and lowercase letters and keeps all of them in equivalent. You'll also use the comparison conditional operators to sort strings alphabetically. And during this case, the word bat isn't greater than the word cat. The word bat starts with B, so it might come before or is less than the word cat. Logical operators The conditional operators that we already discussed can work with both words and numbers. If you want to work with just conditional operators, Scratch has a solution for you. There are three other operators called logical operators, namely the underscore and underscore block, the underscore or underscore block, and the not underscore block. These first two blocks, underscore and underscore block, the underscore or underscore block, do exactly what you would possibly expect. If someone tells you to travel home and play games, you would understand that's different from someone saying to go home or play games. The underscore and underscore block can combine other blocks to examine if both conditions match what you need. Playing with words. Often you may want to mix different words together for a sprite. It might be that you simply wanted to mention something that uses one of its variables, like its costume name here. This block just does that, connecting two pairs of words all together. Anytime you have text or words, rather than numbers, it's usually mentioned as a string. There are two strings that join blocks. The first is the string, my costume is, and the second is the variable, costume name. Make sure to put a space at the end of the first string. If you don't, the two words will join together. If you want to work with string, Scratch has three other blocks that also play with strings. The letter underscore of underscore block finds the letter that's at a particular count in a string. So for instance, letter one of word mouse would be the letter M. Letter four of word mouse would be S. Sometimes you'll need the length of your string. The length of underscore block tells you how many letters are within the string. In this example, the length of word mouse is five. The underscore contains underscore block is the last block that works with strings. This will be helpful if you would like to understand if a string is a component of a special string. For instance, let's say you have a sprite that has three costumes. Story S1, Story S2, Story S3. If you would like to understand if letter S is currently wearing a fancy dress with a S3, then you'll use the underscore contains underscore block to inform you. Clicking on the blocks is always a good way to check what your blocks actually do, and figure out any problem, if any. Often, you'll work out problems in your blocks, by disconnecting them, clicking on each of them separately, and slowly building them back together. This will help you find out problems in your code, if you have any. Well that's all we have for you in this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.